Am I being too hard on the Toyota Tacoma? Am I somehow being unfair to Toyota? Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. So am I being too hard on Toyota, particularly on the Toyota Tacoma? You know, I put up videos now and then, and I talk about some of the issues and things that I'm having with my truck. We're not really issues. I wouldn't call them issues. That, that's the wrong word. That would, be, that would be being too hard on Toyota. I'm really talking more about daily living with the Toyota Tacoma. You know, how it runs, what the power's like, in my case, the manual transmission. You know, just daily operation of the Toyota Tacoma. So, am I being too hard on the Tacoma? You know, first of all, let me state that on this channel, I like to point out the good and the bad, right? And really, the audience determines what is more popular. Unfortunately, we live in an environment where the bad is, is what people really want to hear about. But you can't make up things, right? I mean, if you report things, especially on the internet, that are bad, um, but aren't founded in truth, then you're just simply a liar, I guess, right? And I don't do that. I give you my experiences with this truck and the way that it runs and operates for me. So when I talk about things on this channel that are bad about the Toyota Tacoma or things that I don't like, I'm really trying to catch the industry's ear, if you will, right? Now I know this channel isn't 10 million strong. I know that Toyota probably doesn't even know that I exist. But still, there's that small chance that maybe some of the engineers at Toyota might watch. I know at least one was and may still be for all I know. And he was a design engineer involved in designing and decisions, I assume, being made with the Toyota Tundra. So I know there are folks out there that do pay attention and do watch. So my goal is to improve the Toyota Tacoma. I mean, it's an awesome truck as is, right? In my opinion, there's nothing out there that's more reliable that you can depend on. It's gonna start every time you flip the key or push the button. It's gonna get you where you're going without being stranded somewhere, unless you're unfortunate enough to have one of these really bad fuel pumps, right? And think about that. The fuel pump is a great example. I mean, if people weren't reporting this, if people weren't talking about it, would Toyota be as motivated to do something about it, right? I mean, there have been reports of, of a couple of people anyway, that actually their trucks have died while they're on the road. I mean, there's nothing worse than if you're driving down a freeway at 65 or 90 miles an hour and your truck cuts off. Imagine if you were passing a semi what a horrifying feeling that would be, right? But if nobody ever talked about it, Toyota would be less motivated to do anything about it. Because let's face it, number one, Toyota is a business, a for-profit business. And they don't do this so they can have recall or technical service bulletins come out so they can spend a bunch of money redoing a product that they already built. Now, one thing I want to mention there, because I think there's some confusion. People talk about these recalls and TSBs and things costing Toyota a lot of money. It's going to cost them a ton of money to fix these problems. That's not what happens. I come from a manufacturing background, all right? Toyota doesn't make these parts. They outsource them. They buy them from third parties, like the fuel pumps, for instance. They're not paying for these new fuel pumps. And they're probably recouping the labor that it costs to put them in from their suppliers, right? Either the supplier can agree willingly or they can sue the supplier. And in most cases, they're going to win. There's probably even a caveat in the contracts that they have with these suppliers that states, if something is at fault with your product, then you are going to replace them at no cost to us and probably some amount uh, to cover the labor that it will take to put these parts back in. So don't think that Toyota is losing a ton of money when these things happen. They're not. Those third parties are. 
And it can be detrimental to those third parties. It can cost them the contract with Toyota because there is some damage to Toyota's reputation, right? I mean, when you're supposed to be or have built your brand on reliability and durability and you keep having issues show up, you take a ding for that, right? So it hurts Toyota in that respect, but never financially other than maybe the loss in sales of trucks if people decide it's bad enough that they don't want to take a chance and go a different route. That's possible. But it's these third-party suppliers that really get hurt. And if the, if the problem is big enough, it'll put them out of business. So don't think that it's a problem for Toyota. All things like this do are make Toyota improve in the supplier's that they choose and what they demand from their own suppliers, right? I mean, obviously, as a for-profit business, it doesn't help Toyota to put out products where third-party parts have caused failures. It makes them look bad and it can affect their bottom line in sales. So my goal in, in doing these kind of videos where I do talk about the bad sometimes, I also talk about the good, but when I talk about the bad, I'm talking about things that I think Toyota should improve, things that will make the truck better. Because I wanna see the Toyota Tacoma stick around. I don't want it to go anywhere, and I don't want it to lose its number one spot. I think it's worthy of the number one position. I think it's the best looking truck out there. And given the environment or all of the other trucks that are in that environment, Nobody else beats the Tacoma, even with some of the little glitches they've had here or there, right? But Toyota needs to be careful. They need to stay on top. They need to listen when their customers speak and make sure they do as much as they can to choose reputable quality suppliers, which sometimes might even cost a little bit more money. And you can bet that's gonna trickle down to you and me because again, Toyota's a business. If their costs go up, so do ours. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Are you so dedicated to the Toyota Tacoma that whenever anybody talks about anything that could be wrong or maybe is bad, that you somehow become personally offended? I'd be curious to know. I guess that's the definition of a fanboy, right? And I'm not. Love the truck, but you got to keep them on their toes. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator out there. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.